It's the beginning of summer break where I live in the U.S. and a lot of my students are wanting to improve their clarinet playing or they're just beginning to learn the clarinet over the summer break. So I thought I would share my favorite clarinet accessory upgrades for beginners. So if that sounds good to you, stick around for this video. Hey, it's Juliana from Clarinet Notes Studio, and in today's video, I'm sharing my three best clarinet accessory upgrades that can help improve your playing or just make it more enjoyable to practice. So let's face it, if you're playing on bad equipment, it's just not that fun to play clarinet. Of course, if you're playing on a plastic clarinet, it's always good to consider buying a clarinet made of wood, but I know that that can be a significant investment. So here are my three tips for affordable clarinet accessories that will help a lot. Number one, your mouthpiece. So the best thing you can do if you're a beginning clarinetist, in my opinion, is to buy a good mouthpiece. So typically the stock mouthpieces that come with rental clarinet are not the best. The mouthpiece is arguably the second most expensive piece of equipment aside from the clarinet, but it makes the biggest impact on tone quality. So here are some of my favorite mouthpieces for beginning clarinetists. Uh, the Van Dorn 5RV makes a really good mouthpiece. Also Van Dorn makes the M13 Lyre mouthpiece, which is really good. And also Van Dorn, the model M15 is a really good mouthpiece. Number two, your clarinet ligature. So just like the stock clarinet mouthpieces, typically music stores will supply a stock ligature with most rental clarinets. I think it's important to note that clarinet ligatures are produced in two different styles, which are traditional and inverted. So for example, I have the traditional style on my mouthpiece right now, and you can see that it clamps the reed down while it's facing you. And the inverted style would be the opposite. It would, the screw would be facing out from me and on the top side of the mouthpiece. So I prefer to have my beginning students start on a traditional facing metal ligature because it helps secure the reed on the mouthpiece. And it's just easier to tighten the ligature screws like I showed before. Some of the ligatures I like for my beginners are the Bernard uh, traditional clarinet ligature, this one right here, or the Rovner Versa ligature, which I don't have an example of, but that would be an, an inverted style. Number three, your clarinet reeds and your clarinet reed case. So clarinet reeds come in different strengths. Um, typically beginning clarinetists will need either a two or two and a half strength reed. Um, in my experience, the one and a half strength reeds on the market are too soft, especially if you're buying a new mouthpiece. When you're buying reeds, make sure to buy the B-flat clarinet reeds and not the E-flat clarinet reeds or saxophone reeds because a lot of times music stores will display all of these reeds together as you walk in. So you just want to be careful which product you're actually buying. With the clarinet reed cases, it's really important to store your reeds in a proper reed case as opposed to the plastic sleeve, you know, that the reeds are packaged in like this. This is probably the worst thing you could do for clarinet reed after wetting it, putting it on your mouthpiece, playing. You don't want to stick it back in here because it will really warp the reed. The reed cases also keep the reeds from chipping. And it's important to store them in a reed case between playing sessions. I'll link some of my favorite inexpensive read cases for beginners in the description box of this video. So I hope this video was helpful. I'll leave links to the products I talked about in the description portion underneath this video. And I'll also leave a link to a free resource on my website that includes these three tips and a couple more resources that can be very helpful when navigating what to buy so that you're not wasting your time or money. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye!